Hello, I am legally obligated to inform you that the following video contains spoilers for the game called Persona 5 The Royal. If you do not want to be spoiled for Persona 5 The Royal, please turn off the video now. You have been warned. Hey guys, Vinks are back from Persona 5. Last time social links, this time social links, next time social links, social links, social links, social links. Link. Who wants to hang out, by the way? Uh, Gun Kid, Maruki, and I can finish off Ryuji. Are those my only options? Still can't hang out with Futaba. Yeah, I'll just finish off Ryuji. Wait, he's right outside the door, isn't he? He's, like, right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's talk. Wanna get going? Ah, uh, this is a perfect way to refill after some training. Carbs and protein, man. Carbs and protein. By the way, the track team's up and running again. <laughs> running, it's a pun, I get it. Quick. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? Ooh. Told her everything. Ooh, boy, that's kind of suck. That, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. I mean, they could. As a result, but... the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. Mm. I think they Don't go far say. Don't, don't say those two things in the same sentence. Don't talk about serving a dick and what a great feeling back to back like that. It can lead to some misunderstandings. Now, if it's not misunderstanding, that's fine. But I think you're straight. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the track team. Yeah, totally. Hell yeah. Oh, crap. The ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat. It's been a while since I've had ramen. I want ramen. <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. I, I couldn't stand how much they hated me. That one just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. I mean, hey, a teacher broke your leg. Me, but I managed to change because you were here helping me. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with Whatever. me to the bitter end. You didn't abandon me, so thanks, man. It's all because of you, man. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the fans. Seriously, if you didn't say Kamoshida like and Castle way, and back to back, none of this would be happening right up, now. You tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. Okay, sure. Uh, strong bond determination. I am thou, thou art of eye, blood, oath, rebellion, break, yoke, chariot, infinite power. Okay, so we have Captain Kid, a pirate, turning. Who will he digivolve into? Pirate Mon, did you evolve too? Wu Kong, really? Feel it. My new power. Why? All right. What Satan Taisa? Is that Wu? That's Wu Kong, right? Yeah, okay, that is... yeah, it's Sun Wukong. This is just a Japanese name for it. Alright, now I have that off my chest, let's do this! First up, the Phantom Thieves! Okay, I'm going to stop real quick. It's one of the things I liked about this game, was that all the personas we had were based off of more European folklore. Like, we weren't using uh, Japanese gods or Greek gods like Personas 4 and 3, respectively. 
so we're just using European folklore. So the fact that they're evolving into things like Heck Take the Greek God of Magic, Sun Wukong, which is a Chinese character, and a god, pretty much, turns into God of Strength, I think. Which is also weird because it's Cherry Persona, not Strength. Anyways. I don't know, like, it's it feels weird, doesn't it? Like, why aren't they turning into more European folklore characters? I'll be counting on you, leader. I don't know. You can count on me, too. Hey, now that we're all fueled up, wanna race to the station? Dude, you wanna run out of full stomach? Okay. Okay, evade wind. I guess I'll get rid of headbutts. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey. And I don't care about the sooty armor. Yo. Hey. Oh yeah. Um Actually, do I need that? I actually don't remember. It's probably taking like two weeks off. I don't remember if I actually did the laundry. Okay. Regardless, I can't get any more. Um, like, I still have stuff from uh, Matanarame still. Oh, did she say she'll do it for free now? Cool, she does my shit for free now. Oh man, that's actually really good. Does that mean she'll make coffee and curry for free too? Oh, hell to the yeah, man! I'm going to have so much coffee curry now. Anyways, uh, UI. I catch you still can hang out with. Who's texting me? You want me to help you out, but you're not. Ready to be helped out, though. Okay, do a fortune reading for Iwai. Here we go. Um, I do wish she had unique dialogue for each of the personas, having to do with her individual tarot cards. What do you think? But alas. Now I get it, okay. I need help in the shop. Stop by. Sure, will do. Sorry, man. I was talking to a fortune teller. You know how it works. I still really like the start of this song, too. Ba -da 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 -da. Anyways, won't work. I got a security escort task for you. Something I can only trust to you. We take care of it. Sure. Good. Percy Obasquare is my son. 
Get dinner with him at that diner, Shibuya. Now, go. I gotta take care of some business with Tsuza. I'll be there after I handle that. See you soon. Ah, my dad's really late, huh? He's the one who asked us here, too. You know, it's pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must see something in you. I doubt he'd ever actually admit it, though. Hmm, awkward. You don't talk much, do you? By the way, um, has he said anything to you about me weighing him down? Um, no. Not even close, dude. He loves you, man. Yeah, he's acting super weird recently. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've even heard, heard him mention my name a few times on the phone. Every time I've gone to ask him about it, he told me there's nothing to worry about. I don't know, it just makes me feel anxious somehow. I mean, we're supposed to be a family. 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 I'm sure I've, you, not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He just took me in my, after my parents died in a car crash. Which isn't actually what happened, but sure. Apparently he was a good friend of theirs. I said I can't remember seeing anything about them. Hmm. Uh, that's very uh, different from what, what I was told. What if my dad even considers me as part of his family? Family. family. Oh, dude, he definitely does, man. You know all he talks about? About how much he loves you. Now I think about him. Have you seen, seen his tattoo? You mean the one that's very clearly on his neck? That he puts no effort into hiding? Do this, I have a really bad scar in the same spot from my parents' car crash. Back when I was a kid, everyone picked on me for it. My dad would always come home and find me in tears. That's why he got that tattoo. He said it could be the new Hawaii family crest. I did some research on geckos. Turns out they symbolize protecting one's family and home. Honestly, I thought that was a gang tattoo this whole time. So that's my fault for being... Um... Accusatory? Not that I lost the word. I'd almost forgot about that, to be honest. Maybe he cares more about me than I realized. What word am I thinking of? God damn, that's going to bother me for now. Yo. Yo, sorry for the hold up. You two look like you're having fun. What are you talking about? At the thick wet. <laughs> Looks like two getting along pretty well then. Sorry. Anyways, can't stay long. Got errors and I need to take care of. It would be nicer to at least drop by instead of telling you over the phone. Uh, what errands? Why can't you not tell me? <sighs> Is that supposed to mean? It's just work stuff. Ain't that right? Eh, get us something while you're out, man. Yo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Or anything you want, it's on me. Uh, okay. By the way, I'm almost done figuring out what happened to the deal we were talking about. I'm going now to meet up with the guy who set it all up. I'll fill you in on details some other time. <laughs> Anyways, this is all thanks to you, kid. Real nice having a reliable bard timer help around the shop. Dude, don't say this in front of your son, man. Feels like my bond's growing deeper. Seriously, why would you say that in front of your son? Your son who wants to work with you and you keep telling him no. Why would you say in front of him that, Hey, person's the same age as my son. It's really good nice that you're working for me. Always good to have someone reliable on my side. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> uh, you're not getting yourself into anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. What do you think I am, a Yakuza? Later. Well, I'm out of here. You can hang out into my wall, Karo. Eat as much as you want. Bye, I guess. Okay. Hey, thanks for looking after him. With you covered for me, I actually got some good business done, too. Looked like you and Garo really hit it off. Glad to see you two get along. All I did was listen, man. Really? Sure didn't seem that way. Carl doesn't open up like that to just anyone you know. He likes you, I can tell. Ha, <laughs> well, figured it out just by getting... I figured I was just getting some security, but I guess that's not all you're good for. Tell you that Adria is a lot to figure out. He has to figure out a lot. Wow. Some of which I'm sure he won't talk about to me. Kinda of hoping you can help him through that kind of thing. Well, see you later. Okay, bye. Hi. Uh, two, three. What the fuck does that say? Is that chilly or gilly? I think it's I got Gilly, I guess.
blah blah blah, yeah yeah yeah. They're all talking about how... Like, oh, that guy definitely didn't want to do the thing. Um, let's see. So, Morgana mentioned something about mementos. Do I have any mementos... ...quests ready? I have one. I'd rather not do only one. So let's go shopping first. The pumpkin ghost sets. Get in spirit for Halloween. A lantern necklace and pumpkin soup. Or Ghost Repellent sets. I'll get the item. Hey, hey. Pumpkin ghost sets. Bye! Okay, who wants to hang out? Yusuke is done. Makoto's done. Everyone is done. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, then. I mean, I my best guess right now will be me to work at the flower shop, right? I could no, I could go play. Oh, part of me wants to play darts. They aren't to get that, like get new abilities, but I really need to increase kindness. Once I get kindness, I unlock Futaba, and like that's so necessary. What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'll work here. Let's go. Oh, actually, hang on. I can do a thing that will increase how much I'll get from doing it. What shall we do? Luck reading. Now. Oh, um. I want to increase my. I thought I did all of them all at once. With kindness, I guess. What do you think? Okay. And then there's also. Uh, shoot, where was it? The smoothie I can get as well. Not here. I always forget where it is. You. Hey, what do you want? I'm oh proficiency don't care. I'm already maxed out. Okay. Uh flower shop it is then. Oh yeah, they caught the culprit behind the assaults I found out from here. Yeah, I did hear about that. Really interesting. Turns out it was actually Naguri. What really surprising is that he turned himself in. He's such a delinquent. What do you think made him surrender? Bam thieves? Just a guess. Mm. Oh, that's what I was thinking. How convenient that right after I told you it happened, hmm. A lot of these crimes have been ending similarly. The culprit has a change arc and confesses. Bam thieves have to be real. They just have to be. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked for a second. Here's a pay. Thanks. 
you did great. Well, nice work. Be careful out. Oh, I guess there's not actually a need to be vigilant anymore. Your way home should be a little safer. Bye. How are you feeling? Hmm. And since it wasn't working on Wednesday, I... oh, rank up. Yes, I finally do put Taba. All right. Yes. Wanna head back? So the. Did... Did I get two because of the luck bonus? Is that really all I get? You're back. Let's do it. But the point is, I can hang out with Futaba now. Thank you. Uh, who wants to hang out tonight? Fortune teller. Do you want to hang out at night time? Oh no, she wants us to watch a movie. Um, nah. Oh, was Curry give? What do you want to do? Yep. Yeah. Make sure you close up. Uh, while you do that, I'm gonna go, um, hang out with my girlfriend? No. You are you again? God damn. Okay, well, hmm, both of them. Uh, I want fortune reading. What shall we do? Um. So I need to hit do E Y E. I also need to hang out with you. Here we go. Hey, can I get another fortune reading? What shall we do? Yeah, can I get another Finny reading? Oh what no, okay. Fine, I'll be I'll be back. Let's talk, man. All right, blah blah blah. I want work. So they need to talk to you about. I feel I become closer. I feel we'll bond will grow stronger soon. Let's go. Good. All right, come to the back. Um, I'm a, I'm a miner, dude. It's okay. I figure out Suda's weakness. Well, you and Garo were over at the diner. I was able to get info from a reliable source of mine. Turns out I guessed right. Suda was the one on the other end of that Hong Kong mafia deal. Apparently he paid them a lot for uh, huge. Apparently he paid them off for a huge arsenal of guns. <laughs> this is where things start getting interesting though. If he's smuggling all that shit in, why would he come to me asking for modified guns? I mean, don't something about that seem off to you? I mean, he's probably going to replace the real guns with high quality model guns, and that way he gets the guns and the money? <laughs> right? That piece of shit's trying to lower his position over me, but he ain't got shit now. What I'm really saying here is, I don't think those Hong Kong guys ever delivered on their end of the deal. Probably just took his money and flat out stiffed him on the guns. Or that, I guess. That's also an option. Master told me something real weird back when you and Garo were over at the diner, though. Hmm. Apparently the clans between that Hong Kong transaction like some kind of massive business success. That means Suda's been lying to him this whole time. Now he's trying to use me to cover up his mistakes. He's clever, give him that. Yeah, everyone's always known he's the one sneaky son of a bitch. Don't matter now though, everything's gonna change once I tell the clan what's up. So he's not gonna be able to keep intimidating me anymore. 
And I'll make sure Kyra won't get labeled like I was. He'll be a regular, respectable adult, something I never could have dreamed of. Go ahead and talk to Suda myself first, though. Gotta follow the Yakuza code. Yo. I got a favor to ask for you. If anything happens, uh, take care of Kyra, right? Dude, I'm like 16. You going alone? I can provide backup. And I'll be fine. I know he'd be able to get rid of me no problem without a witness there. I've got put into this. Besides, nobody will lie. Wait, I got you, don't I? Yeah, no shit. That's right. Why don't you come talk to Suda with me? I'm not going to dare lay a finger on a civilian. It will cause way too many complications for him. You come as my witness, things will be miles safer. Maybe as someone on probation, I shouldn't be hanging out with a Yakuza member. Just a thought. Good. Oh, let me think of a reward. God, thank you for the info and for being a witness. How do I work even harder on that special menu? That should be good for you, yeah? Hey guys, if you like my bond grew deeper. Oh, I need max courage for the next one, okay. Alright. Well, I'll hit you up when it's time. Let's do this, kid. Later. So about the witness talk earlier. Remember, it's too late to get cold feet now, you can't bail on me. But I'm obviously going to look out for you. If it comes down to it, I'll personally take responsibility for protecting you, blah blah blah. Bring it on, man! Hey, you really do have guts. Yeah, yeah. Hi! I got some decent curry. Bye. I actually don't remember remember what Curry does. Is that just AOE SP? What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? That, that, that. that. She told me to repeat that. Now nothing's been decided as of yet, but at the rate that things are going. Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Why? Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? A little bit, yeah. I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to hey, she placed results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Like a bronze medal is still on the podium, dude. I think her results are impressive, but I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, okay, let's put it this way: Is there anyone better than her the in the school? Here, okay, uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Fuck off. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. How's the encouragement? You just said, do better or we're revoking your honor status. I'm just trying to encourage her. Fuck off. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical. Uh, unless... Unless it does happen, then it won't be hypothetical anymore. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Uh, excuse me. Oh. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Normally, she she's to you? always wants to talk to me. Oh, by the way, she dropped a thing. It's a good luck charm. Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Um, where was this from? Did we get this during a social link? I honestly don't remember. Shoot, she's gone. 
Let's return it after school. We should at least we, send her a text. Yeah, I'm like so about to say we have cell phones. It's like, hey, you dropped your charm. Hmm. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How many things you saw this on handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. No shit. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this. Yeah, but that's... your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying it's not going to help. Her with harsh words is only going to give her more help anxiety. some people, not her. She's a Dr. Maruki, we bundle of anxiety. Charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy. But we Have you seen her? Just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Oh, not boy. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. Oh, boy. That's a... You, you, didn't her sister die? Isn't that what happened? Now the death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. Yeah, this school will bounce back soon. Even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. Eep. You know, you should really have those rooms be soundproof. Just mm, to be honest, I'm fed with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social form, don't give me all this fan themes nonsense. Also, so unscientific. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okumaro Foods? They're criminals. They officially can't make flavor, even if I'm to fill a small universe. The Phantom Thieves try and steal the galaxy junk food from me? From what? You. That said, Phoenix. Eh, well, that's up. I'm totally not Googling the answer. You perhaps, perhaps you think you understand how vast the universe is, full of complex galaxies. But consider this. If we use three watermelons in the sun to visualize a certain amount of size against the universe, what are the melons? What the f did you just say? If we use three watermelons in the sun to visualize a certain matter's size against the universe, what are the melons? Is it atom? Is that what you're getting to? That doesn't seem right, actually. Feels like there'd be more. I mean, less watermelons. Uh, 10-3, here it is. Stars. This is it. <laughs> as uh, I expect as much from you, I don't understand what you meant by three watermelons. Still, it's meant to convey the density of stars and the vastness of space. Three bees in the whole of Europe also works. What does that mean? I, you're still not explaining what that means. Are you saying that two scale of three watermelons inside the sun? In terms of how big the sun is compared to the size of the watermelon, that's the two scale different distance between stars? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. But even with our own galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, despite the sheer volume of them invisible. I guess that was. Nice going. I guess I was right. Close, but yet far. You could say the same of our hearts. <sighs> ring a ding ding. Uh, hello? Simple? Yes, up. Uh, you're breaking up. Yeah. Uh, you want to meet up? She's at the stadium? Meow, 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 meow. Sir, I thought I heard a cat meow. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? What do you think? Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Yeah, right, well, she did. Let's I don't see how know. she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. 
to Odaiba, right? Uh, yeah. Where was that again? No connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. Seriously. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I want to get a parfait. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Oh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter anyway? So the place that she's super excited about it's doesn't matter a shit to anyone him. else. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was like, cutscene? Why? Ooh, something to grapple on. Beginning navigation. Um, but excuse me. Is that... <gasps> um, but excuse me? What the hell is that supposed to be? Uh... What the... Now? This atmosphere... Is this a palace? But we never actually Is this a there. bird? Wait. Do you think it was Yoshizawa? Yeah. I mean, does she have the nav? It's a yes. We we know she does because we saw it. But wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She but what do you mean you saw her? We have to find her fast. And unfortunately, Like, I was going to say, oh, we should leave and get back up. But then we don't actually know what the keyword is or the person is for this area. So we won't be able to get back in. I should write something. So I'm going to stop here. And when we come back, I guess we're doing a palace? I was not expecting that. Oh. So, Thank you guys so much for standing by watching the video. If you liked the video, do the thing that does thing, lets me know about the thing. Until next time, bye bye.